Hey, look, today on the Kirsty Mickey Nails channel, we're going to do some marble nails using something. At this point, as we film this, it's not even launched. So I'm wild excited. Yeah. We're going to be using neon inks. Oh, come on. I love bright colours. So I don't care if winter's coming. I'm sorry. I'm still in summer. Game of Thrones there. Winter is coming. No, we can bog off. <laughs> so I've got a tip on here. I'm going to put base coat on it. So I'm going to use the Kirsty Wicking base coat and I'm going to do a super, super thin layer of that for maximum adhesion. If you're doing this on a natural nail, make sure that you have prepped the natural nail. And by that, I mean remove the surface shine, wiped over with clean up solution to both dehydrate and clean. Ah, oh, let's get that in the lamp. So we have some inks in our range already. So we have onyx, which is black. We have pearl, which is white. And we also have some metallic. So I'm gonna try and like throw them in as well. But I'm gonna be using um, some of the neons because I like it bright. <laughs> All things bright and beautiful, all creatures, creatures, no. That is not anything I ever thought I would hear you sing. <laughs> All things white and wonderful. Yeah. Probably the only, um... Him. Him. Is it him? Is it a song? Is it him? I don't know. I don't know. Is it her? Is it they them? Who knows? Ah. Right, so I'm going to use white as my base. So this colour is called white out. You don't have to use just white. But because we're using neon, I want the extra brightness. This will be achieved by using white as our base colour. I'm going to do two coats of that. Curing each layer as I go. Second coat of white out. Now with the neons, you can either, what I'm gonna do is on this tip, I am going to show you what it looks like on matte and what it, what it does on matte and what it does on top of the white. I'm not going to bother doing two layers because we just, you know, it's just for an example. It's just an example. Why have I got no glove on the other hand? Let me get a glove out. Because if you're working with inks, let me tell you, make sure you wear gloves. Yeah. Adam will tell you that one. Yeah, I did have black finger for a few days. Look like you've got, um, what's it called? A black spot. No, like an gang gangrene, what is it? Oh, really? It was Not, that bad, was it? Like when your finger's dying. Oh, lovely. Frostbite. When, you frost, when you've got frostbite, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like frostbite. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you this on this tip. So we've got here matte and then we've got the gel polish on this part. So I'm just going to move here out of the way then. It's important that I show you this. We're going to use acetone. That is what you need, not cleanup solution. Acetone, okay? I've got the Adam 3D brush, which is going to help me to create the pattern and stuff like that. But I just want to show you something. So if we use, say, we'll use neon peridot, yeah? So this is the peridot green one. Obviously I'm going to use green because I love green. It's like my favourite colour ever. So I'm going to put this onto the mat. I'm just going to like dot it around, just make a bit of a, a wiggly line. Tap, 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 tap. Tapping it will leave the product on there. If you brush, kind of like dragging it off, okay? And then you're going to go into your acetone, tap it, and you can move it around. 
So you can go into it like this and start to kind of like dilute it or move it around. And it really attaches to the top coat really, really well. The matte top coat. So this is matte top coat, remember that. So you can see that it really sticks to it really well. Now we're going to do it directly on top of the gel polish. It's been cured, it has a sticky layer. So we're going to do tap, 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 tap. Don't forget this is on white to look at the neon powers. Can you see how it reacts differently? Oh, it's already spreading. Yeah. Is that so because of the inhibition, uh, is it inhibition layer? The inhibition layer. Hibition layer. Hibition layer. Inhibitions. <laughs> it's not inhibitions. People do say that a lot. I find that quite funny. It's hibition layer. Hibition. But you can still go in and move this around. So what it does, if it's on a sticky layer, it'll kind of slip and slide more. And you can really clean up and get sharper edges. But it depends what kind of effect you want. Now, I prefer to use some of them on a sticky layer, some of them on a on a um, matte. Majority I like to use it on a matte, apart from the metallics. The metallics, you have to use them on a glossy top coat because mm. they are super shiny, okay? So you can see the difference. You can get like little veins like that. So you can do more design work, don't you? Yeah. But what you can do is layer as well. Oh, right, okay. So we can layer things. So you could now go on with glossy top coat. So if we do glossy on this one and we do matte on this one, if you're using matte over the top of inks, you want to float it on because if you keep dragging, you will drag the ink. Pop that in the lamp. And I just think this, this. I need to show you this before we even get into the design because this, this, yeah, they are the fundamentals of making marble out of ink. Fundamentals is a funny word, isn't it? Because fundamental, it's neither fun nor mental. Bit of in between. No, mm. it's like very organised and like precise. Not fun at all. Yeah. Not, not fun. Not fun. At no. All. Badly named. So let's show you what happens with this. So if we go with this green now again, on here, again, just doing a tappy, 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 tappy. So we've got like a little cell that's appeared here already, a little cell, a little cell coming here. See that? We've got a little cell there, we've got a little cell there. We can go into it and drag it around. It'll have more of an uneven edge, which isn't bad when you're doing, you know, marble. Sometimes that's kind of what you want. But it kind of, I feel like you need to put more product on to get the design that you want when you're working on the top of top coat unless it's the metallic ones. Are we following? Are you with me, everybody? Right, now we're gonna do this on the top of the mat. So first of all, we did it on the sticky layer of the color white out, yeah? And now we're gonna do it on top of the mat. And we're gonna go into this and you'll see it's a soft, effect you can push little lines because you're kind of pushing the product yeah but it's softer it's more you can say disperse, not dispersed. It's like more. Oh my God! The word, the one that come out of the mouth. Can you see how it's like? It's more soft focused when you're putting it onto the mat. But mm. I actually really love that effect. 
I think it looks more like a marble stone. So it's entirely up to you how you want to work with this product. You know, there is no right or wrong way. They just give different effects. So use it on a tacky layer will work differently than it will working on a matte top coat and working on a glossy top coat will work differently than all the others as well. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right, so matte top coat. matte top coat now if you think you want to you want to get that like different effect and layer but you don't want to add a color and you want that sticky but you want the sticky layer all you would do is put your base coat on and then you've got your sticky layer so you can layer those effects like that so the colors i am going to choose are i am going to choose zircon i'm going to choose morganite and, oh, I'm gonna choose these as well. This is so deceiving, it looks like brown. Yeah, I noticed that when I was filling them the, the other day, so. It's it, actually purple. Yeah, it, well, it looks purple on there. Look, on the screen it looks purple. Yeah. But in person, it looks brown. Yeah, it's just, as, it, as you see it, like the residue of it, you can mm. see that it's purple. Blue. Yeah. So that one's amethyst, and then we've got sapphire, which is blue. You'll notice they're all named after like stones, precious crystals, and things like that. Um, so we're going to use those colours. I'm going to start with the blue. So I'm going to start with sapphire. And I'm going to put sapphire at the top. Now, if you're using an Aliana hand, please be careful that you don't get ink on the finger. I was going to say that's very close because that is, it's very difficult to get off, if not impossible. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go in with amethyst. So we just tap in, because if you, see, see if you wipe, you can sort of brush it on like that, but you get less. Whereas we kind of want a bit more. So if you tap it, it kind of, it forces it to sit on the nail. Then we're gonna use Zircon. Now, Zircon, there's a few colours that look similar, but they're not. So there's Zircon, Morganite, and Opal, uh, Fire Opal. So, I mean, Fire Opal and Morganite look very similar. Yeah, I thought they were the same. I they're not the I same. The so, I'll show you Morganite, and I will show you a Fire Opal. Look at that. Massively different. Massively different. Yeah. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. But we're using Morganite and Zircon. Zircon is a totally different colour as well, because look at the pink. And that's what we're going to use next. So Zircon. And Morganite. So we tappy tappy tap. And then what we're going to do, go into the acetone. If you put a lot of acetone on, you'll get these like little pools. What we want to do is we want to kind of like go backwards and forwards and kind of create these little lines as you go backwards and forwards. Can you see these lines? So you get these markations of what a real crystal would look like. And if you rub like this, you can like rub it away, but then push it into a line. I've just been very careful around that edge, making sure we've got back a bit of colour. I want these colours to kind of merge a little bit.
and then when I'm happy with how they've kind of merged I like to add more so we get these like pockets of less pigment What I'm doing is kind of blending at the minute and we create some lines but then this is when we really create the pattern with a little bit more acetone. And you can see how the white underneath gives that highlight. Even do like clouds and everything, couldn't you? Mm. Oh, that'd be a good nail. Oh, because as I look at it, I keep seeing clouds new, and mm. you keep looking at clouds and you, you see, see things. things like yeah, a, I keep looking at it and thinking, this is a bit like. I can see Pegasus there. Can you? Yeah, not wing force. Oh, yeah. Mm. Where's the wing force? Oh, here? Yeah. They're the wings, but you haven't quite finished the body a little bit. It just leave the head. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <You're waiting for laughs> it's so enjoyable <laughs> doing this. You could literally, you know, oh, that looks like something rude now. <laughs> <laughs> you could literally just make phallic symbols. <laughs> yeah. You can always add more. <laughs> If you make phallic symbols. <laughs> 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 like this, you're going to want a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of purple as well. Colours blend so nice together though. It's like a beautiful rainbow. I think I'm going to stop playing now. I'll be here all day. So, we've got this kind of like crazy marble design. But then what I want to do is, God, I'm too hot. <sighs> I'm too hot. Too hot. I'm going to put on a bikini next time I come. Um, Cause it's too hot. I'm going to put on, where's my base coat? Where's my base coat? Base coat. So you're going to put base coat on now because I want a sticky layer. So the base coat doesn't rub it off then? No. Mm. Doesn't affect it at all. So, let's get that in the lamp. The thing is, if you keep rubbing, 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 yeah. eventually you would start to yeah. mess it up a little bit. So, now we have a icky sticky layer and what I want to do is use a bit of the black. So this is onyx. And we're literally gonna do like a zigzagger. Zigzagger. And then I'm gonna move this around.
And now we're going to create a bit of depth. You kind of want to overlap what you've done and go in like the opposite direction. And this will make it look more like a marbled stone. I mean, have anybody seen like a multicolored marble stone out there? I need that in my life. I don't know if it exists, if it doesn't. We need to make it exist. Oh, we're making it exist right now. <laughs> so we can really move that around. And get some nice little fine lines. So again, with the acetone, just a little bit of acetone onto your brush. I nearly went to put it in the lamp, it doesn't, no, don't need that. It air dries. It's like habit, that was habit. Oh, and put it in the lamp. Pop it in the lamp. No popping in the lamp is needed. So now we're going to pour the glossy top coat on. Seal that in. And I do absolutely just love it like that, but I'm just going to put a little bit of metallic, just a smidge of metallic. And I'm thinking, do we go like a goldy tone? Do we go like silver? I'm thinking silver. Okay. Right, so let's dab, dab, dab. And we'll dab, dab, dab something here. You just want little elements of the silver. So again, we're working on top of a shiny surface this time. I just want to like move it around so it has some little lines. Yeah, just. That's so all you need, just a little bit, less is more, but we're just going to put a bit of that. I love, I love watching it fizz. I know, it's so, it's proper like satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. And then we'll put a little bit of the gold here, a little bit of the gold here, and here. Yeah, don't need a massive amount. I mean, these bottles have lasted so long. So I've used Tin Man, and then this one is Goldilocks. I like them both actually. Mm. I think yeah. I do slightly prefer the gold. <laughs> Adam. Oh, I love it. I love, 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 love. Right then, we're going to top coat this now. 
glossy top coat. We're going to seal it all. Pop that in. And there you are. I love it. I love all the tones. And it, I think without the black, it was nice, wasn't mm. it? But then yeah. the black just added that little bit of depth. Yeah, and just give it shadow. Yeah. Like it feels like shadow, it feels like it's layers. Yeah, it does, mm. doesn't it? It feels it feels like there's depth to it, it like it like I suppose real marble is. Oh god. Oh god. But this is the kind of thing that I find really therapeutic. This, messing with marble inks and um, 3D acrylic, I could literally just do that all day. <laughs> and I'd just be in my happy space yeah. all the time. So maybe every single video from here on in will be 3D acrylic and, and marble ink. <laughs> no, we won't do that. Get a bit boring with it. So there you are guys, hope you've enjoyed this video um, using our brand new, well not even launched yet, hopefully, well it will be, we won't put this video out until it's launched because you'll be screaming, uh, oh well, I have, we can't buy it, where, where is it, do you know what I mean, hello oh, Kirsty, it'll be launched, don't you worry, and yeah, thank you for joining us, everything I've used will be listed below in the description box, don't forget to subscribe if you've only just found us, like where have you been? Like, hello. Oh, 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 before you finish, I've got one thing to say. What? It's behind you. We haven't spoke about it, have we? I know, and that light's still there as well. <laughs> you can't read the signature. So oh, yeah, we've left this light in. Because <laughs> we went somewhere and only won a bloody award, <laughs> Doc. <laughs> We've the won, of fame. yeah, we've won it three times now. Three times. Scratch Star Awards, Social Media Star of the Year. We have won for the third time. So we're now in the Hall of Fame, which basically means you can't compete in that category we're not allowed, anymore. We're not allowed to enter anymore. So basically, they've kicked us off. So you know, what are we going to do? We are now going to be judging this competition and seeing who is going to be the next social media star of the year. Do you know what I mean? How amazing is it? It's, it's very heavy. They are really heavy, aren't they? I know, they're heavy carry around all now, aren't they? you've got loads of them as well. Yeah. How many have you got? A oh, and oh, because oh, I've, I've got lots of scratch awards because I've got the other categories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I change my category every year. Yeah. Because I never wanted to be in the Hall of Fame. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to keep winning different ones. Um, <laughs> greedy, that's called, yeah, I know. Um, but no, this one's really important to us because you, we work so hard on our social media. And I hope you guys realise that. And, you know, we try and give you great content all the time that you can learn from. Have a bit of fun along the way because learning is fun when it's made fun. We're not at school. Do you know what I mean? Mm. School can be a little bit boring, can't it? <laughs> we want to make it fun, so yeah. So thank you for, um, without you guys, we wouldn't have won this, would we? Mm -hmm. So it's down to you, so this is for you. Just need a gold one of them next. Oh, we need a gold one of these, well, mm. yeah. I mean, you could paint that one gold in a video, I suppose. Yeah, it wouldn't be the same, though, would it? Yeah, but we might get us to that number. <laughs> what, a million? <laughs> yeah. Paint it with real gold. Do a fake video and the gold and that's the thumbnail yeah and then it'll get us to the million anyway <laughs> and that's classes cheating but help us get to the million please because we we'll love you and thank you very much we like gold things we do like gold things <laughs> <laughs> clearly because i wanted gold on that nail no. but it does look nice but yeah thank you so much um and we'll see you guys in the next video Ta -ra 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 -ra